Hello guys, welcome back to another tutorial of the Unreal Engine. Today uh, I will make a quick, short, five minute um, tutorial about uh, floating damages. And um, yeah, the only thing we need is um, a damage function, as an event on da any damage on the opponent, NPC, enemy, whatever. And um, and the widget blueprint. You can do this by right-clicking user interface widget blueprint. After creating this, you make a border, or I think you can do whatever to use this later on. I use the border and another border in it where a damage text is applied to. This damage text is combined with a animation track. This animation track goes up and fades out. You can do this by by tra um, by making an animation track, and by track you make you simply uh, highlight this and press plus track, and then you get screen position. And then you can start working out whatever um, float, floating style damage you want to have. After this, you go into the event graph and create one variable, uh, a damage integer, um, critical and uh, is damage is just for uh, damage and heal or a critical attack so it scales up a little bit for bigger damage but this isn't necessary in this tutorial um, after this you make the event construct and put it straight away in a play animation node this play animation node has the target self so the uh, damage widget blueprint and in animation is our just created uh, floating damage um, animation then we wait one and a half seconds or how long your um, animation goes and then it removes from the parent again so it f it's just disappearing after you created this one um, don't forget to set the border in the upper left corner um, so you don't get any um, problems with later on with the with the screen position then we go into the enemy template and we make the event damage after this one you can make a function with the damage into the function where we create the damage widget then cast to the created damage widget and from this one we go on as damage set the target damage int to the damage we just uh, got through an event any damage thing and after this one we add this widget we just created and add this to the viewport and after this one, we set the render translation. It's just like set actor location thing, but for widgets. And you set the screen position, so the the overall thing where no uh, animation sets in, and translate this to um, to the position of the character you made the damage to. You get this by um, the actor location. We are inside the enemy template. The actor location, so self is the enemy. And then we make a project world to screen. Uh, with the player controller, You, the player controller is the HUD, the HUD you're playing with. And make the actor location you just damaged to the world is the world position and this world position will translate it to the screen position in x and y coordinates those x and y co coordinates um, 
I, I randomized them by, by um, adding some random floats minus and plus 10, both on X and Y, and just linking it into the set render tr translation. After this, we compile everything. And if you just now go into the uh, project and start fighting, then we just simply get to the thing. Press F, F is now my thing for indicating an attack. And you can see it's 100 and it's floating. So if you if you just stand, you can see it floats and it it just floats on uh, on different positions. Yeah, that's it. Simple as that. I hope you liked it. See you in the next video. Ciao.